Fremantle picked for needs in the AFL National Draft with a number of surprising picks, but ones that are able to fill voids within their team. Michael, they started off with pick 33, picking up Hugh Davies out of Claremont. Uh, what's your thoughts on the selection? Yeah, they picked for needs, as you say, and um, why not pick a local boy at that? Hugh Davies, uh, Jed Adams was another one in the frame, but um, yeah, they, they got him on the board on night two, and, and why not pick up a guy who's really sturdy back there, but also can use the ball well um, as a key defender. There were a few of those roaming about in the second uh, round of the draft, and um, they managed to get him, so yeah, a pretty, pretty handy selection. Uh, he wasn't the only tool that they picked up on the night. Of course, they picked up Max Noble, a, a ruck out of Gippsland Power. Uh, for me, he's probably the selection I like the most in Fremantle's uh, haul, if you like, purely because I think of upside. He's not going to be ready round one or, or next year or something like that. But in a few years, he could be one of the top rucks out of this draft crop. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they just obviously um, saw Lloyd Meek go to Hawthorne and, and needed another long-term ruck option. So they covered the key defensive hole and, and now they've got the sort of developing ruck that they need. So, of course, the, the son of Trent Noble, um, who played for a couple of clubs at, at AFL level. So, um, yeah, a really handy addition, one out of the Gippsland Power, who fed some of the premier prospects in this year's draft as well. And rounding out their hall, they had Tom Emmett, the pick out of Sturt, obviously medium forward, powerful, um, being compared to someone like a Sam Powell Pepper. Uh, he was the pick right before Max Noble. And then, of course, they had Corey Wagner, who's uh, had AFL experience, uh, and he was most recently with Port Melbourne. Yeah, so on Tom Emmett, obviously a really powerful forward, uh, medium type who can perhaps even play taller. I think that'll take a bit of pressure off the key forwards they already have. Uh, I think a few people probably pegged Fremantle for another key forward, um, but Tom Emmett's one who can, again, take that pressure off the ones they already have. Corey Wagner gets his third chance at an AFL club, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was touted by a few clubs, I think, for his form at VFL level, um, and, and they even brought in a few more um, through the rookie draft who are fresh faces too. Yeah, and, and just touching on them, a couple of NGAs, Josh Draper and Conrad Williams, just a little bit on them. Yeah, uh, Josh Draper, super athlete, he's a tall, he can play at either end of the ground, had a pretty nasty injury this year that saw him miss um, a lot of the season. Uh, Conrad Williams, the same, didn't play too much footy, but he's really impressive, an outside runner who's silky smooth, loves to get creative with ball in hand, so they're going to be a couple of long-term additions that could potentially be anything for Freer.